Different thing today. Professional quality keyboard used professionally on stages and in studios for less than $100. Stick around, I'll give you all the details. Hi, this is Ted with Alamo Music Center in beautiful downtown San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com, and if you haven't already signed on to joining our channel and liking and following our videos, please do that. Feel free to leave us comments, suggestions, ask questions, and I mean, I get really excited about those, we all do, and it gives us something to uh, chat about. Well, like I said in the leader today, I have a professional quality keyboard that is used professionally on stage in studios by more than one person. A lot of people use these, and guess what? It's a Honer Melodica. This is a Performer 37. And it doesn't run on batteries, and it doesn't have to be plugged in. It's completely powerless. You provide the power with the breath of life. Of course, it takes practice to play. I can't look down this way, but it does come with a hose. It's got an extended hose that you can play, and I'll do that later when I play it. But this is one of the favorites of Donald Fagan, and you can see one almost every single night on Late Night TV with Stephen Colbert. You watch John Baptiste play, and he really tears this thing up, and he's brought a lot of notoriety to it. We get a number of phone calls for these. People want to know what it is. It's a Honer Melodica. This one is a Performer 37, and again, it is, uh, you can play it like this. It has a little handle on the back so you can hold it. Jean Baptiste is real big on holding on to his. There are other manufacturers that make these. I believe Yamaha makes one and there's also a few other different models. The Honer one is available. It's, this one here generally runs for right under $100. I highly recommend it. Donald Fagan has used one of these on almost every single one of his solo albums. He's touring with Steely Dan right now, and he features one of these. It also has this little thing in the back where you can attach like a strap or a hook, so you can just have the thing hang in there and pick it up when you need it. And uh, with that, I would like to say that this is a great instrument for you to learn. If you're a synthesized player or a keyboard or digital keyboard player, this thing will actually help you learn how to play woodwinds. It'll help you learn how to play your saxophone, uh, uh, flute settings, and also your brass settings. And again, it takes a little bit of breath, but you hit some of these chords down here in the bottom, and you're getting kind of like the lower to mid end of an accordion. So you can get some really nice background pads. And if you don't like what it sounds on your digital recording, if you're doing multi-track recording, don't forget to add multiple layers. You can double the melody, you can double the pad, play different voicings, put one on one side, and get really, really creative with it. Let's have a listen to just a couple brief examples. Up in the upper registers, if you hit the, the right kind of grace notes, and I mean they got to be the right ones, but if you hit those grace notes, you can almost get a Stevie Wonder sound out of this. And as one of our uh, support crew said, hey man, 
the gorillas recorded. They used one of those on Clint Eastwood, and then we just got done listening to it. And uh, you're right. So for the other generation, this is a gorillas tool. Of course, they also use a lot of uh, toy instruments and toy pianos, which I absolutely love. And uh, the part is in the background so much so that people would recognize it. So if you're completely bored with battery powered and plug in keyboards or your acoustic piano or your grand piano, which I seriously doubt, but if you want to try something a little more thrilling and exciting and certainly a lot brighter and a lot noisier. It'll wake you up. It'll clean your sinuses. It's a fun instrument. It's Performer 37 from Honer. And uh, I'm, again, I'm Ted Barsley with the Alamo Music Center. And if you have any questions or comments, especially about the Performer 37 or the lesser models, let us know. Thanks a bunch for listening.